Angelina Jolie stars in a new thriller involving assassins and a massive wildfire. CNN's Rick Damagella has more from the stars of this brand new movie. I'm not gonna hurt you. I wanna see where the blood's coming from. It's not my blood. Angelina Jolie must protect a young boy from assassins in Those Who Wish Me Dead. My dad said, if anything happened, I should find someone I could trust. I think what was nice is that it wasn't with this thought of, oh, now we're gonna show you a strong woman, or oh, this is about how tough this woman. They're kind of interchangeable. What we do in the film, certainly what I do, it could be a, a, a male role. It wasn't a, and as a woman, and as a woman, it was just a really tough person who is also a woman. I've learned a lot from Angelina, and she's a great screen partner, very professional, but very fun at the same time. I think we did really well, and I think it shows off in the film. Both planes in the air soon. Wonder whether we'll still be here. That combination of uh, a strong woman who, you know, runs her survival school, who's at the, you know, the peak of her physical abilities, but then we meet her Babe, at the height of her physical vulnerability because she's very pregnant. I love nature. I love being outside. Um, I love being able to um, really be where you're supposed to be. There wasn't a lot of green screen in this film. Um, you know, you could you could feel the fire. You could smell the smoke. You're gonna run. Run on. And you're going to keep running. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. What happens next? Looks good. Yeah, I was going to say, kind of scary. Bits and pieces. And the food's good over at Market Square oh, right now. Oh, speaking look at of this. which. Look at this. Look we at are this. frying up everything chicken, chicken Get out of today with a new restaurant in town. Medication. Yes, indeed. Uh, Gold Feathers, Birds and Beers, and Miguel Maya Goitia is here. And what is the secret to making the perfect chicken, fried chicken? Well, you got to use fresh chicken, never yeah. frozen. Lots of seasoning. Make sure to put plenty of seasoning in your flour as well. Uh, lots of eggs, lots of buttermilk in your wash. And finally, use uh, really good oil. Oh, okay. And look butter looks the real key to the yeah, fried chicken. Yeah, it right? gives it that extra little crunch, that, oh. that that texture that you're looking for in fried chicken. That chicken and waffles right there is next level stuff. And yeah. Jen is at a great place to cool off with the kids. Right? And, and it's brand new. Serving lunch too. <laughs> That's right, we're getting a sneak yeah. peek at Sea Life San Antonio in the shops at River Center. And you can see things behind me, but also above me. Take a look. Super excited to meet some of our sea friends, and we may even feed one of the animals here. I can't tell you what just yet, but that's coming up, guys. I'm super excited. Look at Jen under the sea. I know. <laughs> Just like in Little Mermaid, under you know, the sea. Now, speaking of under the sea, uh -huh. would you go into a shark cage? Like, would you go? Like in Jaws that Hooper did. And then it crashed through and he had to fall. Well, I would know, hope so that doesn't happen. I hope it's stronger than that. <laughs> um, you know, if the bars were really close together and... <laughs> The shark and they were was really, really small, yeah. small itty bitty sharks yeah. that don't fit Probably through. Probably so. What would you do? Would <laughs> Let you? us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. We'll find out if I'll do it. I'll tell you in a few minutes. Yes. Oh, and we yeah, also. And a whole lot more coming up. <laughs> Take a look at this a South Texas fisherman landing a whopper. 876 pounds of bluefin tuna. It happened last month, about 150 miles off the coast of Port Aransas. That nearly breaks a 40-year state record. Fisherman Troy Lancaster caught the 121-inch female tuna on April 13th while fishing for marlin with Captain Justin Drummond aboard a private boat called Quantified. Lancaster was using a skipjack tuna as bait. It hopes to catch a marlin when he hooked a different beast. It took nine hours to reel that thing in. I can see your lunch written all <laughs> over this story, your regular tuna, tuna lunch. Like you could read more about this story on ksat.com. All right, one last look at the uh, satellite and radar here. We're watching what's going on out to the west, seeing some new development. It'll take some time for that to work in our direction, but we think we'll get some showers and storms later this afternoon and this evening. There is a slight risk for a couple strong storms, especially for those uh, west of San Antonio, kind of similar to yesterday, but a 60% chance of storms going into tonight. Still some showers and maybe a couple rumbles of thunder tomorrow. We get a chance to quiet down Thursday and Friday and then rain chances come back. But I'll also caution you, it'll be cool tomorrow, 68 with cloudy skies, guys. Thank you, Justin. And that's our show for now. We're talking about big tuna.
Mike, if you under talking about sharks, jaws, he went all the way back to Peter Benchley back in, what, that 75, 76? So yeah. Way back. And then chicken and waffles. Yeah, fried chicken. Love this. Get your own acid out. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. Hey, today on SA Live, ladies, it's helpful tips for break a fast and glass ceiling to achieve your goals. Plus, birds and beers, we fry up everything chicken with a new restaurant in town. Da -da. We get a glimpse of the new Sea Life Aquarium and see a live shark feeding. <sighs> Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, I can't wait to try those waffle beers. Get out, look at the shark. Get out of there, shark. <laughs> get, 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 get. It's feeding time. Go downtown. River Center Mall, that's where you're going to be fed down there. So, oh, can't wait to try this. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterix. This chicken looks so good, and it actually looks impeccable. And I'm a bit, I'm a bit, hang on, I'm a bit peckish right now. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll have more dad jokes throughout the show. Yes, indeed. She's Bjorn um, Corsisa cooking up the waffles right now. And, you know, many restaurants last year, unfortunately, uh, lost business had to close down. But one really took the plunge and opened up just last fall. Yes, and Miguel M Maya Gautia, owner, co-owner of Gold Feather Birds and Beers, is here to give us a taste of their chicken and waffles. We have been drooling over this <laughs> yes, indeed. since you got here and put this out, okay? So right. what's different about this chicken and waffles? Okay, well, like I discussed earlier, it's the seasoning on the chicken, how we're using the, the, the wash with a lot of buttermilk, mm -hmm. a lot of eggs, and also using fresh oil. When it comes to the waffle mix, again, lots of eggs, lots of butter, um, we skip, we use very little water. And, and you said go. people can really taste it there. I mean, there, yeah. there's a definite difference when you put yeah, all that butter in the egg. It's the richest surprise. Right? They're, right. they're just like, wow. They're kind of, because I mean, some places just use water. I mean, it, it helps preserve it, right. but it's, it's just night and day when you use. The quality ingredients, yeah, it's right? Better. Yes. I mean, it's, it's a better product. Okay. And this is not just breakfast. I mean, this is like dinner. And, it's, it's, if we were open 24-7, we would sell it 24-7. Open to close, we sell waffles. Oh wow! Okay. All right. So what's he what's he starting with over okay, here? Okay. So he's gonna make the banana nut waffle, which okay. you have going right here. Mm -hmm. um, that batter actually ha it's a banana nut batter in itself. So it's not. Oh, just, that's what I smell. Yeah. Okay. You can, yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah. You can smell it. I can so smell that. So it's not that. just the garnish. So. Okay. All right. So that's cooking up there mm -hmm. right now. Right. Now, other than the chicken and waffles, we also have uh, just a wings bunch of too. sandwiches. Yeah. Wings and sandwiches. Correct. Okay. okay. Which is more popular, the wings or the uh, chicken and waffles? Uh, they're toe to toe. Our number one seller, to be honest, is the wings, though. Uh -huh. Okay. And but, what have you got in front of you right here? Okay. So you, this you, is this is our Rolls Royce, uh -huh. which is it was our take on a on a like a fancy kind of gimmicky sandwich, but it was something that that you could actually fit in your hands and be able to eat, not have to wrestle with it. You know, so it's not like this tall or whatever. Um, I, that still looks like something I'd wrestle with, but yeah. in a good way. <laughs> but, 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 and, that, and that's actually something that we're going to be showing you how to make in the second segment coming up, because yeah, it's different. all about gold feathers, birds, and beers. And speaking of beers, too, you serve beer and uh, some uh, flavorful little drinks that you make up yourself. Yeah, there, right? so so we have we have truly on draft, and we fill those with truly and also our frozen uh, mocktails or cocktails. Uh -huh. they're, they're not they're wine based, so I have a frozen mule. Yeah. We have a frosé, a frozen rosé. Okay. Um, and some and of the you, other seltzers. And you can get the growler to go. Yes, so that's, that's a big part of, um, of kind of what our brand is, is getting beer also on the go. So it's, it's heavily discounted from the price when you right. dine in. It, it's almost, you only pay probably about 60% of, it carries four pints, so you almost get about a pint and a half free. Okay. And it's takeout only. How's that waffle going? Yeah, how's this going? Yeah, flip it over, okay. let's see. see. And you can check it, it, it should. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. Okay. okay. So, yeah. Are we ready to go? Soon? Getting there? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, good yeah, to go. It's good well, to okay. pull in. You, it should so just come right off. I got, I got the bananas. Uh, what can we use? I know. What can okay. we use? You can okay, just I'm just gonna use the knife. Grab it. It should okay. come right off. Yeah. And you're located over there at Blanco 410, right there at Park North, kind of across from uh, Target. Yeah, right? the lower part of Park North. Um, where you, you pass us on your way to Target. You have to. So when you pull it off Blanco, yeah. right there, okay. right next to Panda Express, we're right there. Okay. Ooh, and family friendly too, right? Big time. Dog friendly, family friendly. I have high chairs, I have booster seats, I have everything. So this goes in like that. Okay. Yes, sir. 
Okay, and then and we the just chicken, build it. Uh -huh. and we put the bananas on top, right? Oh, yep. Oh, oh, baby, oh, oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh, yeah, oh, Candied yeah. pecans. Do it, do it, do it. Throw that on that. there. Yes, yes. Oh, my Can't goodness. What are you going to do next? What are you going to do next? Syrup? Yes. Yeah, do it. Oh. Go with, and then go with the powdered sugar. <laughs> Drizzle it, powdered sugar. I like your style, Miguel. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Look for good luck over the shoulder, <laughs> and... Okay, go Fiona. Okay. I gotta try this here. All right, here we go. All right, now you, of course, opened last year during the pandemic, right? Yeah, when, yeah. when did you open? Uh, middle of September, uh -huh. height of September, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my Talk amongst goodness. yourselves. <laughs> All right, so coming up, here. we're gonna show ah. folks how to make this, right? Yeah, uh, this one, the this Good one. Morning America, yeah. The Good Morning America. Yeah. What is in the Good Morning America? So it's uh, Texas toast on the outside, it's our uh, fried chicken breast, mm -hmm. then it's American cheese, it has a hash brown patty. Candied bacon, sunny side up egg, and then we drizzle it with the syrup. Yeah. Aren't you so glad we do this show? Okay. Don't pull up on that one. Yeah. Hey, if you'd like more information on gold feather birds and beers, just head over to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live where we have provided a link. Okay. okay. From chicken to fish, Essay Live team, we were split. We always have a morning meeting trying to talk about our social mm -hmm. question as it is. So mm -hmm. we finally came up with, sorry little, about little that. A little syrup. It's okay. okay. Probably, yeah. Would you go down in the shark cage like Richard Dreyfus did in Jaws? Yes. You would? I totally would. Would you? Oh, yeah. I mean, as long as it's a good shark cage. And it wasn't. <laughs> And it wasn't the size of Jaws there. Correct. Although yes. one time... See, we're already making too many excuses, though. It's either a yes or a no. One time years <laughs> ago, there was a thing at SeaWorld, and I was in scuba gear on this side, and the sharks, there were hammerheads. Scared me to death, though. Really? But I was separated from them. Oh, my yeah. gosh. So you so done I would it. Be, so I would be scared. Wow. Okay. So yeah. let us know. Would you be as scared as Mike at SA Live case <laughs> on Facebook and Twitter? Would you go into a shark cage? All right, and uh, we'll share some of those later on in the show. Well, you can dive into the ocean depths without ever leaving San Antonio. Yes, indeed. Our Jen Tobias Trusky is making a splash out there at the new Sea Life Aquarium that is opening very soon, and it is life under, under the sea, sea. Under, the, under sea. the sea. Don't worry, we're not going to sing. Okay, hi, Jen. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Under the sea, we are exactly under the sea. And if you don't want to get in a shark cage, this is the next best thing, right? I have Nick Ireland, the curator here at Sea Life San Antonio, and we're getting a sneak peek today, right? Yeah, it's exciting. Welcome. Thanks for having us. This is one of many, right, Sea Life Aquariums, but the first in San Antonio. That's absolutely right. This is the second location in Texas. Uh, there's 57 Sea Life Aquariums around the world. It's actually the world's largest public aquarium brand. And the first thing I noticed here, and I'm sure our viewers are taking this in as well, is this beautiful tunnel. This is a theme you have meant to be interactive where people can come and see it from different windows, different angles, and already I see so many different species. How many species do we have here? Yeah, we have uh, over 40 species represented in this exhibit alone and around the entire aquarium over 150. And which is your favorite? I had to ask. Uh, you. My favorite. We're going to see if he's going to come by because he's going to be an absolute star in this exhibit. And he's called a Napoleon Rass. Ours is still kind of small by Napoleon Rass standards because they get to be over 200 to 300 pounds Whoa. and about five feet to six feet long. He is really cool, just absolutely beautiful, going to really engage with guests and be a fun animal to, uh, to enjoy here at Sea Life. And you can see the stingrays going by. You mentioned their personality, and they throw the sand <laughs> up here sometimes. Uh, but they all have those different personalities that you see here. How, how is it getting them adapted to this environment? So uh, when we bring the animals in, they get a, a, an acclimation period to make things comfortable for them as they transition into the aquarium here and kind of get to know each other, understand the dynamic within their own species and the other animals around. So. We, all, we give them a little bit of uh, quiet time at first, mm -hmm. not a lot of uh, noise and uh, people around at first just to get them settled in. And of course, uh, once they're in here, we cater to their, their every need, make sure that the, uh, their diet is right so they eat uh, restaurant quality seafood every day. Um, <laughs> just to get them settled in and comfortable to their environment here. Nice, and I'm sure you can see back here there's this huge sculpture back here um, going with the pirate theme, mm -hmm. but there's also 10 different interactive exhibits. Uh, you have seahorses, you have uh, uh, so many different things for people to see, right? We're just getting a sneak peek here. Yeah, that's absolutely right. This is the spirit of Blackbeard. Uh, this is uh, the only pirate-themed sea life aquarium in the U.S. Uh, 
So he was chosen just because pirates are fun and cool. Kids love pirates. We just figured he was a great fit for our site here. Uh, around the rest of the site, we, we have an area that highlights our native freshwater species. Uh, native to San Antonio River and other waterways around here, uh, and another uh, 18 different exhibits besides that area and this area, highlighting uh, animals from as far away as Australia and as nearby as San Antonio River. I love that because you're getting the educational aspect of it too for the kids, right? Absolutely. So throughout the site, you'll find several ways to connect with the animals up close uh, through really unique viewing windows, um, really amazing immersive theming and of course uh, we like to get information out there so you'll have people here to talk to you and let you know all about our amazing animals lots of text uh, iPads with information and, and fish identification graphics and and so on just to make you feel both uh, educated and interactive and enjoying your experience here Perfect. Well, I'm learning a lot already. We have more to show you. We're going to feed one of the friends here in this tank. That's coming up. Nick, thank you so much again. They open in about two weeks here at the Shops at River Center. Mike, Fiona, back to you. Looks so cool. <laughs> Doesn't it? And we have yeah. our own shark here, yes, too. Yes, we do. We do. Probably Stay a little less dangerous. Stay away from the chicken and waffles, though. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Jen. We'll check in with you a little bit later on. And, and we're going to see her feed some sharks. Not the chicken and waffles, I hope. So that's for us. More information on Sea Life Aquarium San Antonio, head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Chicken? Don't waste good chicken on that shark. All right. Next on the show, we are giving women helpful advice to reach their goals. Well, Women's History Month may be over, but that doesn't mean we have to stop learning. Here to help women make their own history is Sarah Connell, best-selling author and founder of Thought Leader Academy. Hey there, Sarah. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. For those who don't know, tell us what the glass ceiling and the confidence gap are. So we hear all the time about women making less money than men in corporate jobs, retail jobs. It's, it's a sad and long known fact, but there are other hidden glass ceilings. And one of them is the freelancer pay gap. So I'm a writer, I coach, you know, female entrepreneurs and writers. Women freelancers typically make 28% less than their equally qualified male counterparts. Then there's the confidence gap, which is kind of what I think of as the inner glass ceiling that shows that women typically underestimate their worth, their performance, and their skill by about 25% from actual fact. And that's important too, because confidence is the impulse, the catalyst for going for the bigger job, asking for the raise, making more money. So what are five quick tips you have to help women break those boundaries and find that success? That's the good news. There's a solution, right? So the first thing that I think about is making the decision, making the decision to charge what we're worth, even if that feels scary. Think of your daughter, niece, sister's friend, younger generations. This problem didn't happen overnight and it can be solved only collectively. Number two, um, finding a mentor. So this doesn't have to be a paid relationship. Women are excited to help each other and studies showed individuals who had a mentor increased the confidence and their income by at least three times as fast as women that tried to go it alone. And it makes sense. And so the third step is getting in community. Our wealth and our success typically reflects the five people with whom we spend the most time. But if we want to make those kind of changes in income, confidence, new experience, we want to find people who've done it and get in the virtual or live room with them to see how they did it. And then we can do something kind of fun, which some of people have seen the TED Talks about power posing, right? We stand in superwoman position, our arms up, but these poses in under 90 seconds change our hormone levels and decrease cortisol, which is our, you know, stress contraction hormone, increase testosterone, which helps us feel powerful and motivated. So just something simple in our homes, like standing like this before a phone call, an important meeting, a writing session can vastly accelerate our productivity and the successful outcome. 
And finally, I like to think about the phenomenon of a rising tide raises all ships. It's a bit what we talked about in number one, really seeking out online and meetup groups or Facebook groups or wherever it is, other women who are committed to enhancing the life experience, to smashing the glass ceilings together, start a movement, get a Facebook thread going with your friends and say, who's in it with me to really elevate the female experience. And there's no better time to do it than now. Tell us real quickly about the Thought Academy. So Thought Leader Academy is a program where women come together and uh, it's one year and they become best-selling authors and TEDx and in-demand speakers from the motivation of changing lives. So 17 years ago, a book saved my life. And ever since then, I've been on a mission to support other women who have a story to share, have a mission that needs to be in the world, make sure that they do that and actually reach the people they're here to serve. Tell folks where they can go for more information on you and the Thought Academy. Please feel free to visit our website, sarahcanell.com. All right. For all that information, all you have to do is head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Still ahead. Ooh, this chicken has our taste bloods flying. Taste bloods? Buds flying the coop. (laughs) But we build two chicken sandwiches from gold feather that will come home to roost. (laughs) <laughs> and for this Inclusion Tuesday, we get to take a trip out to Morgan's Wonderland to see what's changed during the pandemic. Happy Inclusion Tuesday. We often talk about how important inclusion is at Morgan's Wonderland. And now that the park has officially reopened, we get to see what it's all about in person. So let's go inside. Jessica Lizardo, General Manager here at Morgan's Wonderland, joins us to give us a tour. Hey there. Hey, how are you? <laughs> oh, it is so great to be here on such a beautiful day. Where are we going to go first? So first things, we are going to go to the Ferris wheel. Um, fun fact, it's actually five and a half stories tall. has one accessible gondola on it too. So if you happen to use a chair, you can come on up. We'll end up just like everybody else. So it's really cool. This is so neat. We're on a Ferris wheel. And this park isn't just accessible. It's ultra accessible, yes, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And what that means, it's basically think of accessibility kind of like, you know, um, your parking tag, right? A parking spot. Um, ultra accessibility, that's the experience, right? We are providing ultra accessibility to the people who have never been able to do things they can do here, right? That's what sets us apart from so many other places. Um, so the experiences that we have um, here at the first where we have an accessible gondola. All of our rides are accessible actually to where even if you're on the carousel, you can ride that along with all your family members and siblings. Such a wonderful thing for these children to be able to enjoy. How did Morgan's Wonderland come to be? So uh, the founders, Gordon uh, Gordon Hartman and Maggie Hartman, um, they had a daughter named Morgan. They were actually at a hotel pool one day and they saw that she wanted to play with typical individuals and they wanted to play with her, but they just didn't know how to communicate to each other. So Gordon put on his thinking cap and he was like, where can I find a place that's, you know, where my daughter can just feel included? And um, he found that there was no other place in the world that does exactly what we do. So he had all the right connections and he was like, let's build Morgan's Wonderland. Here we are 11 years later, um, we celebrated our 10th birthday last year in 2020 um, and we've been going strong for 11 years so yeah it all started with with the vision of, of uh, Gordon Maggie. That's what it is it starts with a dream and necessity is the mother of invention right <laughs> yeah. and here you are so what else should we see while we're here? So uh, yeah Sensory Village is a great indoor location it'll be really great for those uh, hot summer days that we're approaching um, so we're gonna head out to Sensory Village here in a little bit. Okay So what should we check out here at Sensory Village? Yeah, so there's so much to do inside this little building. So um, we have, you can forecast the weather in our weather room um, where you can see yourself in the two outside screens. In our shadow room, you can um, hold up rocks, pretend like they're falling. Everything's based off your shadow. Um, Tadpoles can chase your shadow as well. And then in our uh, Microsoft Experience room, there's Xbox controller. It's actually uh, an adaptable controller to where if you don't have the dexterity in your hands as you would um, someone like you or me who could operate a a typical controller. Um, They've designed an adaptable controller for those individuals to play along with everyone in their family. Um, So really cool games that you can play in there as well. Um, And lots of awesome things just in this tiny, tiny room. Tons of other things as well. Also, it's indoors. So in those summer times where it gets really hot, this is a great place to hang out. So how can folks enjoy Morgan's Wonderland? How, what are, what are your hours? 
Yeah, so um, right now we're only open on the weekends. So Friday from 10 to two, Saturday from 10 to four, and Sunday 11 to three. Um, we will be opening Morgan's Inspiration Island, which is our splash park. Um, opening day is gonna be May 29th, it's Saturday, actually Memorial Day weekend. So there we'll be open um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday from 11 to four. Thank you so much for a fabulous tour and thank you so much for your time. Of course. All right, Morgan's Wonderland is now open. So to plan your visit, all you have to do is give them a call at 210-495-5888 or go to their website, morganswonderland.com. Still ahead on the show, we're at Sea Life San Antonio and guess what? It is lunchtime for some of our shark friends here at the shops at River Center. We'll give to feed one of them coming up on the show. Stay with us. And next, we are plucking away. We check out Gold Feathers chicken sandwiches. Oh yeah. Welcome back to SA Live. Beautiful day down here mm -hmm. at Market Square. And boy, have we been kind of pecking around the table here. <laughs> We're just full of puns today. Yes, and Miguel, my Gautier, gets to put up with us. <laughs> Co-owner of Gold Brother Birds and Beers joins us once again for some crispy chicken sandwiches. I mean, look at those. What are those Ooh. called that we're looking at right now? Okay, so the one with the Texas toast, that's mm -hmm. our Good Morning America. Okay. And the one with the brioche is gonna be the Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce, and what's in the Rolls Royce? I see uh, bacon. It, it's candied bacon, oh. you got the fried chicken, mm -hmm. it's got an egg, and then the kicker is foie gras. Oh Ooh. my god. And then the, the sauce is a comeback sauce, which is kind of like a little take on a, like a thousand island kind yeah. of. Yeah, come back, come back to me. And All right, and this America? is what we're making, right? Good morning, correct, yeah. All and right. What, what's on there? So you start with Texas toast, then you have a breaded chicken breast, it goes to American cheese, hash brown, uh, bacon, and then the egg. Good morning, America. To me, that's called the God Bless America. It's <laughs> God Bless America on a sandwich like that. So, all right, so I'm cooking up the mm -hmm. egg right now. How many different kinds of sandwiches do you have? We have seven of them. On top of these? What, what else do you have? Uh, we have duck tacos, which uh -huh. are pretty cool. We make a duck confit. Really? Mm -hmm. So Ooh. what makes these sandwiches different? Uh, we, we call them like craft sandwiches. Just a lot of, they're just unique, I think. You know. Okay. They, they, okay. We use special sauces for them. Um, again, the candied bacon, you don't see that everywhere. Mm -hmm. And, and they're, we like to keep it simple, but they're just tasty. Okay. What's your inspiration for all the different the combinations and the flavors <laughs> and everything? Uh, the internet and like a lot of brainstorming. <laughs> <laughs> I think the brainstorming would help because you've got some drinks too, right? I, I have a lot of good stuff that, that has uh, helped me out. So. Okay, and what have we got here? Um, so these are the seltzers from Real Ale. It's okay. a craft brewery downtown, and we uh, downtown, uh -huh. down the road, down Blanco, and we've been working with them quite a bit. Uh, these just came out. They're delicious flavors, so they're unique. Okay, so what kind of flavors have we got here? We got peach, we got, pomegranate. Yeah. Okay, we got some melon, cucumbers, some grapefruit, black ra raspberry, yeah. and tangerine. Is that yuzu? yuzu. It looks good. Yuzu. Hey, it looks yeah. amazing. Cool too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they did go with the math graphics. You know what? The the non-stick is not non-sticking today <laughs> okay. for some reason. So okay. I don't know why. However, so we're gonna build this, right? Yeah. So I can that. start here with the some there Texas toast, and then okay. I'm gonna go with the yeah. chicken Correct. and the cheese, followed uh -huh. by the, you know, with the is with the patty. Oh, so with another the, patty. Oh the, the my! The hash brown patty on there. Huh? Oh, the hash brown is, patty. Okay. Stop it, you then guys. The, okay. <laughs> Is all the chicken breaded the same way? There's no difference in the spices on the chicken? It's all pretty good? It's, it's all the same way, yeah. Okay. And then after that's when we add the syrup. Because if you add the syrup oh. after the egg, it'll syrup. slide off. Okay. Oh, so the syrup's up there. No, oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, wait, that, right. that was correct. Yeah. Right. Syrup. Okay. Syrup. 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 We need syrup. syrup. Give syrup. It. Oh, sorry. Just this is like it. the three Just stooges it. between the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to do this, so. Okay. 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 Now, all right. Now throw that egg on there. It's not pretty, but it's going to taste the same. Yeah, it's okay. What happened, Mike? I don't wait. The non-stick. I might as well have done the egg. Mine would have looked like that too. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got that built. Okay. All right. You want to cut it? Am I going to cut go it? For okay. It. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Hard, to, even hard to cut. I know. I know. I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it. Okay. Ooh. Now, Gold Feather is a fun place for families, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. You got a family-friendly atmosphere. Where are you located at? We're at 834 uh, Northwest Loop 410, Suite 106. So it's basically Park North, the lower park. There we go. I'm just going to grab this one over here. Just grab that one. That's I'll grab you. that one. Okay. okay. And where can folks go for more information on you? Uh, to our website, mm -hmm. goldfeatherbb.com. 
And is that also where any events will be listed yeah, coming and, up? Uh, you have any coming up? And follow us on Instagram, which is goldfeatherbb.com. I mean, goldfeatherbb. Goldfeatherbb. Yeah. Do you have any events coming up? That I know of? No. No, okay. Know. All right, but that's where to go to check. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Even with that egg, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for more information on gold feather birds and beers. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the as seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. And I'm talking with my mouth full. And now, Jen, what's going on? Hello, guys. Yes, we are getting ready to feed Solomon. Now, here's a fun fact Nick shared with me about sharks. We may think that they're feeding machines, but they don't right Nick? That's right so sharks typically eat about two to ten percent of their own body weight per week wow. so their food requirements are actually pretty low. All right well we're gonna get to be Solomon here when we come back stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our Jen Tobias Strusky is live out at Sea Life San Antonio, and I can't even imagine the depths of fun she is having. She is going face to fin or face to tooth, as the case may be. <laughs> With it. They're going to let you feed a shark, Jen. I want to know, is it a really long fork? Sure, Solomon is an adult male zebra shark native to the South Pacific. A uh, comment that you'll hear a lot about zebra sharks is how did they get that name when they're covered in spots? Well, an interesting fact about them is when they hatch out of their eggs, they're actually black and white striped exactly like a zebra. Over time, those stripes convert into spots and uh, places like Australia where they're native to, they often call them leopard sharks. That name's already taken in the United States. So here we call them zebra sharks. So he gets the alternative name, zebra shark. I love it. That's a fun fact about them. So he's hungry. Is he ready to eat now? I think he's ready right. to eat. Caroline's going to feed him with these tongs here, some mackerel oh, today. This way. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. You just want to put that right in front of him, and he'll come up and here kind of go. suck it right off of the end of the tongs. Like that? <laughs> Are we waiting for Solomon? We got some interest from a few of the fish as well. <laughs> so Solomon eats what every other day? Is that right? Every other day he eats Solomon? That's right. Okay. Okay. And he should be coming, guys. Oh. Oh. Solomon. Oh, he's now turning around. Mind. He's coming. Keep in mind, guys. We kind of shifted what his normal eating time around so he will hopefully come here eventually but all these other guys <laughs> definitely getting oh some goodness. interest from some cow nose oh, rays too there's Solomon, Solomon. There, you oh, there you go you down eat? a little bit right in front of his mouth there nice oh I felt that power he enjoyed that okay <laughs> he wants more let's see that so when do you guys open exactly so our viewers can come check this out tell me so our grand opening is on May 25th, 2021, coming up here in about two weeks. We're so excited. Tickets are available now. Check out visitsealife.com. Click on the San Antonio link, and you can get some tickets. Come on out and see us. So you can get your tickets now. Here it comes. Okay. All right, buddy. And I like how you explained, Caroline, how he sucks the fish right because his mouth is under. Center, and you really don't feel like you're in a mall at all when you're here and trying to give him one more piece of fish out here but you have all the inter interactive elements oh here it comes again and all the stingrays seem hungry as well we'll also have some food for all the other fish so we'll try to get it in here but okay Solomon you're gonna take the last <laughs> one before we say goodbye there, there we go. he is Tickets are available right now, and you can purchase 
those. And go ahead. We're going to go ahead and feed these All guys. right. Fiona, Mike, you get to witness Here this. Here we go. Because everybody else is hungry, too. I, I feel That's like you're going to need a bigger feeding stick. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's, exactly. That is so cool. Very cool, Jen. Thank mm. you. Two weeks oh. from today it opens up on the 25th, he said. Yep. Mark your calendars. For more information on Sea Life San Antonio, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the as yes scene on SA Live tab. John is having a whole lot of fun with an inflatable shark. Are you hey, the up next, <laughs> men, summary is coming. Get ready for swimsuit season by looking and feeling how you want. Well, it's heating up outside. Summer, of course, is right around the corner. And guys, if you want to get that beach body and summer confidence, you may want to start with Mayo Medical Group. They have helped thousands of men here in San Antonio, and they'd like to help you as well. And joining us now is patient treatment counselor Manuel Chapa. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Okay, I'm thinking get beach body, go to the gym, but with guys 35 and older, lack of energy and maybe gaining a little bit of weight, you say that could be low testosterone. Absolutely, yes. So those those are some symptoms of low testosterone, amongst other things, of course. Um, but yes, as far as you know, beach body goes, and everybody they just want to shred. And then with COVID, this entire year, and you know, people just starting to come back out with the vaccinations and just getting comfortable, you know, being outdoors and living life again. That's what we're here to do. You know, um, if they're hitting the gym, they just can't get that that body weight off that they may have put on from COVID. We want to get them to come on in. We want to hear what's going on. Definitely get them started on a program for sure, but we want to have, have them come in so we can have them start seeing the results that they, that they want for that summer body. Okay, well, speaking of results, what kind of results can guys see from testosterone therapy? So honestly, of course, not just the, uh, you know, the, the physical part as far as the body goes, but, but the mental aspect. So they get better quality sleep. They just feel better. Their, their mood is elevated. They have more energy. They have more drive. They have more focus. So if anything, you know, the physical part comes with it, of course, with, with the testosterone therapy, but the, the real the real main thing to focus on here is their just energy, their, their mood is elevated, their mindset is just that much better. So especially when they start hitting the gym, they have that extra umph, you know, that extra drive. They just, they wanna get back at it. They wanna get that, that summer body. Okay, so then how long does the whole transformation take, the umph? Um, usually, honestly, within the, the first month to, to uh, six months, depending on, again, the person, everybody's tailored differently. Of course, there's other things in, involved as far as the, the gym and dieting, of course, but testosterone therapy would definitely help you get there. It, it speeds up the metabolism. Again, it helps you feel a lot better. And then once you're hitting the gym, you'll start, you'll start noticing the results definitely for sure. Okay, big question. Is it covered by insurance? Absolutely. So we are a network with most insurances. All we have to do is once we get the client to come on in, you know, we'll have their blood job, we'll have them fill out some paperwork. And then what we do here is we reach out to the insurance. We see what their benefits are. We see what they're going to have covered. And then we just take it from there. Okay. You got a big discount going on right now. What can the first 10 guys to call get? Yes. So the first 10 callers will get labs at $49. The, the, the labs and you know seeing the provider usually is about a 300 plus dollar value so they are going to get some great savings with that again just reach out to us even for for the ladies out there you know that their, their man may not necessarily feel comfortable we want to hear what's going on with them and we definitely want to get them started and get them feeling and looking a lot better okay well just to recap what uh, manuel just said for the uh, first 10 people to call are going to get a consultation with a medical provider including lab testing for just 49 dollars, and that's about 250 dollars in savings give them a call at 210-361-1203 and for more information visit mailmedicalgroup.com manuel always nice chatting with you sir always a pleasure thank you until next time tomorrow on SA live coffee for you and a dog cigar for your pup. Yep, we're heading to a hip new cafe that doesn't just welcome your furry friend, there's a full menu just for them. Plus, she has nearly half a million followers on Instagram. This social media chef is showing us how to make big family meals for just a few bucks. It's all tomorrow at one right here on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. 
All right, do, do not forget, the Fiesta Porch Parade is going on right now. You can submit your entries at ksat.com slash Fiesta for the virtual contest happening now through May 24th. Hey, and for deals on decorations, visit ksatdeals.com. The Battle of Flowers and Fiesta Flambeau Parade organizers will pick the winners, and the Fiesta Porch Parade is going to air June 18th from 8 to 10 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. That's going to be fun. Okay, so earlier we asked you, would you get in a shark cage? Erica says, maybe for like two minutes, just to say I did. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Lisa Ann, <laughs> I love that photo. Paula says, unfortunately, the North Shore shark adventure in Hailewa, Hawaii, was closed when I wanted to go. Shucks, maybe next time. OMG, nope, I'll pass, says yeah, Jacob. Jacob. Mm -hmm. But the question is, is the shark tank shark cage in the water with the shark or is it just there? Mm -hmm. It's your cheer. No, <laughs> is, uh, that, it, is that going to be over your shoulder the whole time now, your little graduation I'm cap? not worried about that. I'm worried about that. <laughs> he missed out on it's lunch with Jen. It's coming there. for you. It's coming for you. Da da Oh, the humanity. Oh, no. Oh.